Hey, in this Maintenance Monday, I'm going to show you how to solve an issue that we're asked all the time here at GCN Tech. How do I get my bike gears to work the same as they do on my bike and my indoor trainer? Well, it's something that's actually quite easy to fix with the help of these. So I'm going to show you how. These are cassette spacers. You can buy them individually, or you can buy a little box of a selection of different sizes, um, such as this. These were eight pounds off Amazon, so they don't cost a huge amount. And if you've watched our weekly tech clinic Q&A, you'll often see us answering questions where we say, if your gears aren't meshing properly on your indoor uh, trainer, then you can space out your cassette. We seem to say it quite a lot to people, and hence why we're doing this video. Um, if you're wondering, how do I do that? Well, I'm gonna show you how. If you're wondering, well, that's never been a problem for me, then look at you. You don't need to watch the rest of this video. The first thing to do is to explain why your gears skip when you switch from having your bike as a bike and then putting it on a direct drive trainer with a cassette on it like this. The first thing that, that can be the cause is actually that the cassette and chain is worn on your bike and then you've actually got a brand new posh turbo trainer for Christmas and it's got a nice new cassette on it and that worn chain doesn't mesh properly with a nice new cassette. So assuming that your bike is clean and not completely worn out um, and that the cassette is functioning as it should be, the most likely cause is that the spacing of the cassette is different on the trainer to what it is on your bike. What do we mean by this? Well, it means that the position of the cassette will be slightly more inbound on either the bike or the trainer. That means slightly more moved that way. Not by much, usually only a millimeter or so. Now to solve this issue, we will take the cassette, which is spaced more inbound, so positioned more that way, and move it more outbound. Now that might be the cassette on your bike, or it might be the cassette that's on your trainer. We'll show you how to try and work out which one it is in a minute. But simply all you do is remove the cassette from either the trainer or the bike using a chain whip. Here's my trusty park tool chain whip. Um, and a cassette lock ring tool and a wrench. Now, that's a pretty straightforward thing to do. We've got videos that show you exactly how to do that. And they're essential tools that I'd recommend every cyclist owns, chain whip and a lock ring tool. Uh, and then with the cassette removed, you can simply apply spacers on the end of the cassette. We position the cassette with spacers more outboard because that's the only way you can go. You can't force the cassette further that way against the end of the free hub body. You can only put spacers on to move it outboard. To establish which cassette you need to space more outboard, you'll have to do a bit of research and testing on your two setups, so on your bike and on the trainer. So if the gears on your bike are working absolutely perfectly, but then when you put the bike on the indoor trainer, the shifting is reluctant or difficult or is clicking when it's trying to get into the biggest sprocket, then you need to adjust the indoor trainer's cassette and shift it slightly inboard. This will require a little bit of trial and error and you might need to use some different size spacers. So the nice thing about that little spacer kit that I picked up is it's written on them what the sizes are. So it starts off with a, just a one mil fix spacer. So I would start with that, see what the result of that is. And then I'd switch to a 1.5 mil spacer and so on. And then eventually you'll get to the right point. There is a limit though. You can't sort of go up to a, uh, well, beyond a two mil spacer on most free hub bodies uh, because there's just not enough space for the gears at that point. So if you're <laughs> putting two mils of spacers on and you're still having issues, there's something else happening. It's not a sort of spacing issue. Conversely, if the gears on your bike work perfectly, but then when you get the bike on the trainer, it's hesitant or struggling or clicking when you're trying to shift into the smallest sprocket, then the best solution for that is to space out the cassette outboard on your bike and leave the trainer as it is. It's important to remember though, if you are spacing out your cassette on your bike wheel, you'll need to re-index the derailleur on your bike because now that derailleur at the back will be set in a different position relative to the cassette on the bike. So you, your gears will be out. You'll need to re-index them. Make sure you do that. 
And as mentioned, when you're spacing out the cassette, it's not by much, you know, usually I found that like just a millimeter is sufficient um, and not much more beyond that. The key thing is take your time when you do it, make sure that, you know, it's it's all working properly. You'll be glad that you've, you've taken your time when you get it fixed, it's well worth doing. And just to reiterate, common thing, because I, I know that people do this, use a chain checker and check that your chain isn't stretched and visually inspect the cassette on your bike as well. It's easy to keep this nice new one uh, clean and unworn that's on the turbo trainer, but if the one on your bike is a bit tired, then just have a look at the, the ramps and all the little teeth and just see that they're not worn and they don't look like a shark's mouth and uh, you should be good to go. You can check your chain with a park tool chain checker like this, really useful bit of kit and something that's well worth having in your home mechanic toolbox. Right, hope you've uh, found this useful and let us know in the comments section if you've adjusted the cassette spacing on your bike and what other maintenance videos you'd like to see in the future. Keep firing your questions down below and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye.